Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, and today we're going to look at the new scale feature in BandLab. This is going to allow us to play the inbuilt keyboard in a really easy way in scale, in key, which means that we don't have to worry too much about the notes that we play. Great for jamming, great for getting creativity out really quickly. Let's have a look. I've loaded a track I'm working on. It's a blues track. And I'm going to just rewind and play this. And if I play the keyboard, as you can see here, There's a lot of bum notes. Let's put the pitch on. And now the notes have changed from the QWERTY keyboard, which is handy if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, but we can also put the pitch on now and we can see the notes. And with the mouse, it's really quite easy. However, check this out. If we get it off, we have this incredible choice of scales. So for example, if I tap on the minor scale, suddenly the keyboard changes and only these notes which are in the minor scale appear. And there's a nice little keyboard here which you can turn on and off, map, but it shows you what each note is on the traditional keyboard. So there, what looks like a white note here is in fact a black note. Love it. So if we want to play in a minor scale, it's very easy to do so. Let's go to the major pentatonic, even less notes, but you get the idea here. And there's lots to choose from. The major third, only four notes. This is really good for creating new tunes. Uh, if you just have this choice of notes, you are limited, but actually that can work really nicely. If we change it to a bass line, for example, we could get some really interesting sounds. But what we're going to try and do today is actually jam along to a blues track. So the scale I'm going to choose for this particular blues track is C and a major pentatonic. Here's the notes. C, D, E, G, A, C. D, E, G, A, C. So I'm going to record and jam. Let's do it. Change the sound. Rock organ.
So you can see we've recorded a MIDI track. Let's rewind that. That's the one up here, One Vibes. And let's play it back, see what we've got. So there you have it, another fantastic improvement from BandLab. So here it is, let's just look at it again. It's usually off on the keyboard, but now there is all sorts of scales to choose from. And it's great because you can actually learn some stuff, some theory as well. These are great tools, it's now about your imagination and what can you do with them. So first idea I had was let's jam the blues. But you can do anything, you can have created um, uh, some great chord progressions, then find the key and find the scale that goes really well with it and come up with some fantastic melodies. Jam it, and if, you don't, if you're not in time, for example, you can always quantize and put it into time. Just a reminder how you do that, you double click on the, the MIDI that you've just created, the track you've just created, double click, and there you can see the notes. And if you hold down Control and tap A, all the notes are selected. Let's just zoom out a bit and you can see all those notes selected now. There they are. And now we can quantize them into the various values here. This is about experimenting to see how it sounds. Now let's give you an extreme example. So if I hold down, let's go for one note and then quantize, you see it all jump. And what's happened is the notes have sort of formed chords. They've all gone to the bar line. Let me rewind and you can have a listen to that. Okay, a dramatic effect. Let's undo. We'll go up here to the undo button and you can see them jump back. So maybe we try one quarter note and quantize. And they jump around a little bit. Let's have a listen. You'll hear the changes and this can get very creative. By just quantizing a track, you can create a new feel to it. Okay, let's undo that, see them jump back, and let's go for one sixteenth note, and quantize. Slight jump now, but you might notice it when we play it. undo that and just apply 16th triplets that'll be it so some of these runs here the fast ones might now come up interestingly who knows let's quantize and let's play from bar 15 <laughs> As I said, if we decide, okay, some of it works, some of it doesn't, what we need to do is, let's say, just grab, just select a few notes and change the quantize. 
So instead of 1 16th, we could take it down to a half and press the quantize. And now they're sort of like chords again. Let's try that, see if you could hear the difference. It's just another great way to get creative in BandLab. So explore it, have some fun, start jamming, start honing your skills, play, 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 practice. You can get better and better and better. There's nothing like it. This is just like any other musical instrument. Practice it until you get the results that you want. Happy music making. See you soon.